Nice to Meet You is an adorable romance story that centers around Mew and Days. Mew is a cute and optimistic fashion design student, a truly talented and skilled costume designer. As our story starts with Mew kind of falling for Days. Well, Days' looks, as she mainly wants him to model her clothing, using him as her muse. Both of these characters are great characters. I've already talked about Mew, and I haven't talked about Days yet, but today isn't about either of them. But I mean, well, it kind of is, but the spotlight is on a different character. That character being Wynn. Wynn is introduced in Chapter 2. He is a goofball and a prankster, stealing Days' ID and blackmailing him? Wanting Days to buy him a waster ball in exchange for his ID back. Wynn's lovable trickster nature carries with him constantly, as in the next episode we see him playing hide and seek with a bunch of kids, and is really into Pokemon. Anywho, Wynn is somehow best friends with Daze even though they're practically opposites. As Daze seemingly hates socializing and is often too tired to do much, meanwhile Wynn is a social butterfly, going out often, inviting people he barely knows talking and interacting with people he doesn't know because he wants to get to know them better. Who does that? Not me. Hey. However, much of Wynn's screen time is him devoted to being ship captain. But let me explain. Wynn's interactions with Days are some of the best interactions between friends in this series. They have that chemistry of not really getting along, but despite all their personality conflicts, all their problems between them, and all of Wynn's tricks, like that ID thing and constantly eating his food, they're very good friends, being very willing to be 100% honest with each other. When Days and Mew's friendship starts to form, Wynn sees a little more than either of them. As Mew only started to notice Days because of his looks, and Days only really started to pay attention to Mew because she's bright, pure-hearted, and kind of weird, Wynn notices some things that most don't. Like I said, Wynn is Daze's best friend, or at least acts like it. As not only is he always by him, but it almost seems like Wynn knows more about Daze than Daze himself. Noticing his actions, his words, what bothers him, what doesn't, what he likes, and what he doesn't. So when Wynn points out that Mew might be following him because she likes him, it bothers him a little more than it should. Days is a good looking guy, it would be criminal if no one was into him, and there are a ton of girls that are 100% into him and constantly show it, so it doesn't really bother him when someone's into him. And Wynn knows this, so when he sees that Mew's affection is bothering Days, he kind of goes with it, building his ship, which is where that ship captain comes into play. Now, you probably shouldn't ship real people, because they're people with their own goals, aspirations, and feelings, but sometimes you can't help yourself, especially if it's your close friends. And Wynn definitely can't help himself, as none of us can either, since this is practically the culmination of opposites attract, as these two are just so different, yet them liking each other is just so sweet. And Wynn definitely notices this as he tries his hardest as ship captain to push these two together. Asking Mew if he's dating anyone, giving Mew Daze's his number, making moments where these two are in proximity to each other, or just are alone with each other. Gwyn loves to push them together, and it's interesting, because there aren't really a ton of reasons why he would be so into them being together. I have a question for you. Why are you so interested in watching two people get together? Why are you as readers, watchers, viewers, whatever, so invested into people getting into a relationship, falling in love with each other, going through the motions of what it means to be in a romantic relationship? Romance is one of the most popular genres of not just webtoon, but movies, TV shows, anime, comics, songs, videos, anything and everything. Romance is bound to be one of the most popular subjects in content, period. So why? I'm not in a relationship. 
I'm sure not all of you guys are in a relationship. So why? Why do we love? Well, love. For me, at least, it's because what we want? It's not relatable to me, but I want it to be one day. I would love to be in love one day in the future. So seeing stories of love gives me some semblance of hope for it. It may be a weird question to pose, but it's an important one. Not because Nice to Meet You is a romance series, though that does help, but it's because of Wynn's biggest character trait, that being ship captain. And it's important to know why he's captain. It's unlikely Wynn was shipping them because he wanted to experience love, because he's never been in love. As while he and Yu were talking about love on how her first relationship was problematic, how she gave the wrong things priorities for the wrong reasons, we get to hear part of their conversation. Hmm. That explains a lot. I've never really liked someone before, so I don't understand it. But for real, what's it like? Liking someone? Mm, well... It's like having butterflies flutter in your tummy, like this. That doesn't look comfortable. You get super excited when you see them, and when your eyes meet, it's like a zing feel to it. Oh, like how I get excited when a new game announces its release. Uh, I'm sure that's not the same thing. Wynn has never really been in love before. He doesn't understand the emotion, doesn't understand why people fall in love, the point of love, the rules, the meaning of it. So that raises the question, why does he ship Mew and Daze together? There are a couple of reasons that line up well with Wynn's character. He likes his friends and wants them to be happy together. Or it could be his playful nature, wanting to be a little punk who makes his friends embarrassed when they are together. But I also think it's curiosity. Days was never really someone to pay attention to women. He never really cared about them. But why does Mew captivate his attention? Why do these people act the way they act when they're near each other? What does it mean to be in love? Which brings us to the issue of shipping real people together. That being, getting too attached. Now Wynn is definitely friends with Mew and Daze, there's no question about that. And there really isn't a problem with getting attached to your friends. But we see Wynn get real attached to Mew. Near the end of season 1, after a little squabble with Leah, another really complex and interesting character, these two guys aggressively flirt at both Leah and Mew. And they're definitely crossing many lines. After Mew gets hurt, our party checks on both of them. Everyone except Wynn. To both Mew and the audience's surprise. Wynn doesn't check up on them, but he instead follows the guys that hurt Mew. After they think they've gotten away, Wynn appears. Throws one of them on the ground and is implied to beat both of them up. This shows a different side to Wynn. A much darker and more violent side than we're used to. As Wynn's smile drops and is fully ready to beat some people up. Now something interesting about this scene is when he starts to fight these dudes, he only really mentions Mew. Granted Mew was the one who was the most hurt, however he doesn't really mention Leah. And I'm sure he's friends with her, but that's not the point. I mentioned that you shouldn't ship real people. And a big reason is due to attachments. When you ship two people together, you try and look for any little detail possible. Any little glance, any little endearing words or phrases, any behavioral patterns, anything and everything. But when you do that with real people, you might start getting a little too attached to them. Which is what happens here. And is what also what changes Wynn from being just the goofball trickster side character that ships the two love interests as much as we do into a complex and interesting character. Now, I don't know a ton about love, which could also be why I'm so into the romance genre. But what I do know is that you can't really control who 
and how you fall in love. As we see Wynne fall from Mew. As it turns Wynne from a tricky little punk into someone with feelings? Someone who accidentally falls in love with his best friend's possible love interest. I love how kind of generic Wynne was set up to be. Like I said, he was a goofball, a trickster, someone who loved messing with his friends, someone who loved playing video games and shipping his friends. But it was all kind of hiding a much darker side to him. Someone who is super willing to fight many people, all for a person he loves. And that love is such an interesting part. As Wynne doesn't want to be in love with Mew. Not because Mew isn't a great person, that's part of the problem. It was impossible for him not to fall in love. But he feels like this love is a betrayal to both Mew and Daze's friendship. Which is why I love his character. As love is such a complicated emotion. It's not easy and it's definitely not clean. And Nice to Meet You shows us that. Shows us the complex and incredibly difficult side to love. All in an adorable art style. And I think that's pretty great. But that's all for today. So like always, thank you for watching. And I hope I'll see you next week. Take care.